Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, this lecture is about another construction problems in geometry. Construction of a triangle, knowing certain its uh, element. Uh, now, this uh, particular lecture is part of the course, which is called Mass Plus and Problems, where I'm um, uh, trying to introduce certain maybe new concepts and uh, much more different problems. Problems not exactly um, of the kind which illustrates the theory, but completely different type, which is supposed to kind of encourage you to, to be creative, to think about something, um, to find the solution which is not really presented in, in the theoretical course which is the prerequisite for this one. It's called Mass for Teens on the same website, by the way, unizor.com. Uh, so these problems are supposed to, to cause you to think about these things, to be creative, to be analytical. Um, okay, now, um, the website unizor.com contains, as I was saying, prerequisite course for this one, which is Mass for Teens. Um, which basically covers um, high school and a little bit more uh, level of mathematics. It also has physics for teens if you're interested in relativity for all. Um, that's for those who are, again, more inclined to uh, physics and uh, more contemporary theories. Okay, um, now the website is totally free. Uh, there are no advertisement, no strings attached. Sign in is not really necessary, it's optional. It's actually needed for a supervisory study because the website has certain functionality and uh, like parents can control what exactly the educational process of their uh, children is. Okay, so let's get back to this particular geometrical problem. Um, by the way, in when, whenever I'm talking uh, about triangles, I usually have certain standards. Um, my vertices are usually called la uh, uppercase Latin uh, letters. Um, angles, corresponding angles, are um, Greek letters which correspond to the name of the vertex. Uh, sides are called with uh, lowercase. Uh, um, Latin letters corresponding to opposite side in the triangle. Uh, in this particular case, I would like to construct a triangle using its three altitudes, H A, H B, and H C. Obviously, H A is the one which goes onto the side A. HB goes to side B and HC goes to side C. So using these three altitudes, so you have like three segments basically, you have to build an entire triangle. And quite frankly, it's not obvious how to do it. Now at this particular point, you can pause this video if you're watching it on the video. Um, and think about this yourself. Um, now, at the same time, I can give you a very, very small hint, and then maybe you can just pause the lecture. The hint is that the area of the triangle is one half of side times the altitude which falls on this side, but at the same time it's B times HB and times C times HC. It's a hint. I'm using this basically in the solution which I'm uh, offering. Um, okay, so now you can pause this particular video and think about it and I will continue basically mm, trying to analyze uh, the problem and find an approach to solve it. So, this is very important. From this I can actually have something simpler. 
don't need error, I just need the relationship between A, B, and C and um, altitudes. From this we can actually express everything using only A, um, namely B is equal to uh, A times H A divided by H B and C is equal to A times H A divided by H C. So that's what basically we, we need. This is the relationship between the sides of this triangle. So A, B, C are sides, H, A, H, B, and H, C are corresponding altitudes. And in any triangle, you have this particular relationship between them. I will use this. Now, I will use it to build a triangle which is not exactly what I want, but it will be similar to what I want. Now, if I will be able to do it, I will know the angles, because similar triangles have correspondingly uh, congruent angles. So, that would basically solve my problem. Uh, okay, now, how can I do it? Alright, so let's just take any segment X. And I will calculate segment Y and segment Z. These are sides of a, another triangle which is similar to the one which I need. Now, how can I do it? Very simply, I just have to put that Y is equal to X times HA divided by HB and Z should be equal to X times HA divided by HC. Now, if I will be able to do this then let's do it this way. For instance, x is equal to certain coefficient k times a. k we don't know, obviously. We know x and we don't know a. It's just an ana analysis, like assuming that we have built this triangle with these altitudes. Now the sides will be a, b, and c. And that's why I'm just choosing any kind of uh, segment x, and I assume that there is certain coefficient of proportionality or scaling factor between between x and a. Now, y is equal to k times a times h a divided by h b. But look at this. It's b, so it's k b. Now, what is z? Z is X, which is KA, times HA, divided by HC, which is K times C. So, what's happening here? X, Y, and Z are proportional to A, B, and C with the same scaling factor, K. So this is my analysis. All I'm saying is that if I will choose any segment X and calculate Y according to this and Z according to this, then my triangle XYZ would be similar to triangle ABC. Now, the question is how to do this? Well, this is, I think it was addressed actually in the main course how to construct these type of proportional kind of things. But it's really very easy. Let's talk about this one. So let's take any angle, any angle. Put here HB, put here HA, put here X, and draw the parallel lines. Obviously, these are proportional uh, similar triangles, since these are parallel lines, triangles are similar. And from this similarity, you go that, um, let's say, uh, and this is y. So y divided by x should be equal to ha divided by hb, which is exactly what we need here. Now, for this particular case, again, similar thing. This would be hc, this would be the same HA as before, 
this is the same x as before. Now we draw the parallel lines, and that would be z. z divided by x is equal to ha divided by hc. z divided by x is ha divided by hc. So this is how you build y and z knowing x and knowing these ha, hb, and hc. They are given. Now, what happened before I was just talking, it's all so-called analysis. It's just like assume that we have built triangle with these altitudes and its sides are A, B, and C. Then we have come up with this particular strategy. Now, at the end of this, I really have to just make a solution. Basically, the building itself, the construction itself, I have to do. So, what is the way to construct? Okay, as I said, we start from any segment X. That's the first step. Next step, we construct Y and Z using these two uh, things. Angle can be any, by the way, as I was saying, so it's all very general. So now you know X, Y, and Z. And we do know that X, Y, and Z triangle is similar, because it's the same scaling factor, similar to ABC. Okay, so we know that. That's a very good thing, actually. I have not constructed triangle with these altitude, but I do have a triangle, let's call it x, y, and z, with x, y, and z. Since I know x, y, and z segments, I can build this triangle, which is called x, y, z, supposed to be capital letter y. Now, I know it's similar. Well, if it's similar to ABC, it means that the corresponding angles are equal. So I have to build this one, ABC, and I know this angle. And I know all the altitudes, right? So I know all the angles, because they are borrowed from this triangle, which I have constructed knowing X, Y, and Z. So I know angles and I know the height, the altitude. Well, now it's easy. So let's say in this particular case, this is B, this is A, and this is C, and this is HB. HB would be sufficient. So I have two parallel lines on a distance HB from each other. No problems, right? I mean, this is... I. I basically skip the elementary things like, okay, how to build two parallel lines on a certain distance. This is all much more simple and uh, very close to theoretical problems which have been presented in the course math routines, in the prerequisite course. That's why all these easy things I'm by by bypassing. If you have problem, uh, for instance, uh, constructing two parallel lines on a certain distance, you have to really go back and re-examine the course Mass for Teens in Geometry, where I present all these problems and solutions, obviously. So now I have two parallel lines, which means my points, choose any point A. Now how do I point, how do I find point B? Well, I know this angle, so I'll just put this angle. That would be alpha. alpha. Beta, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma. So I know now the point B. How to get how how to get to C? Well, this angle is beta. So I put this beta, and that's my C. I did I didn't even use in this particular case, H A and H C. They were actually built into this thing and construction of x, y, and z to make this new triangle similar to this one. So they are built in into the whole algorithm. But right now, for construction itself, 
when I have already passed uh, constructing y and z, and x and y and z, now we, we need only h a just to build these two parallel lines. And here is my triangle. It's obviously again similar to this one because all angles are the same. And it has correspondingly needed uh, hb, hc, and ha. All the altitudes. So this is a construction. So what I did was first I did okay, assume that my triangle exists and it has sides A, B, and C. Then these equations are correct. Then I have built X, Y, and Z, choosing any X and constructing Y and Z according to the same formulas. And that's how I came up with idea of this triangle. So this is the first thing, to build this triangle, which is similar to our. It's possible to do, because we know all these coefficients, and we chose x, x, uh, arbitrarily. Now, continuation of the construction is, okay, now let's just use what we have. What we have is angles. And since we have angles, now this simple construction is actually working without any problems. Now, I mm, didn't mention it before, um, but all the problems which I'm presenting, and actually every video which is on the website on unizor.com, has on the side, it has a textual description, which is basically like a textbook. Um, and uh, what I suggest you is always, uh, before or after you uh, watch the lecture, I suggest you to read this particular, these particular notes. And again, it's basically, it, it's not very, very short kind of uh, things. No, it's a, it's a full text of uh, material which I present in the video. So that's why I suggest you to, to read it. Now, in case of the problems like this, in many cases, I present only the problem and maybe a hint, but not a solution. Solution is on the video. And that, in my personal view, is supposed to encourage you to do again just by yourself. So after you watch this lecture, go to the textual part. So you have to go to unisor.com. The course is called Mass Plus uh, and Problems. Go to Geometry. And this is the lecture which is called Geometry 03. So you go to this lecture and you will see what exactly needs to be constructed. I, I'm not sure, maybe there is, maybe there is no hint, but in any case, there is no solution. In some cases, in some cases, there is a solution. I think in this particular case, I do present the solution, which you can just don't read it. Do it yourself first. In some other cases, when maybe uh, problems a little bit easier. I I don't present the solution in the in the text of the notes, so I basically leave it to you, and I do encourage you to do it yourself. That's actually the whole purpose of the course, not just to listen to whatever uh, I'm presenting or to read the solution if it's presented. It's supposed to actually encourage you to think. That's the most important part because. There is no practical implementation or whatever practical need to build a triangle using three altitudes. I mean, at least I just don't consider it. The problem and, and the purpose actually is to for you to think about these problems and to find solution. If you can find solution in these strictly abstract kind of things, you will be able to find solutions in any practical problems as well. Practical problems also need solution, which might not be provided for you, and you will have to find it. This is the practice. That's how you, you practice your muscle in the uh, gym, you practice your constructing your creative abilities, solving the problems like this. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, and good luck.